Ursula here. Thought we'd take a look before we have another frost tonight. Um, the last one was a hard freeze. It was two nights ago. There was frost on the cars as well. So that means that the temperature went below the dew point. Um, today we have lilacs. They're just gorgeous and they smell wonderful. But uh, we're getting ready for the frost. And you can see we've covered the apple tree as best we can. There's not a lot we can do about some of it. It's pretty tall. Um, the quince is covered. Everybody else is kind of just out. Um, the other thing we have out in the garden here is columbine. Aren't those lovely? So, oh, we have pollinators out. See the little bumbler? Oh, we're so happy. We have flowers to taste. The potatoes are in Grover at bags and they're just going to stay the way they are. They'll be fine. These guys on the steps, though, they're going to get brought up closer uh, tonight. It's only supposed to go down to 33, but um, dew point is 36, so there could be a frost. This is a current bush. You have one of my exuberant starts that I started in the basement. They're getting used to being outside, but it might be just a little too cold tonight for them, so we'll take them in on the porch. Um, those guys back there are a little more tender. Carrots can stay out. Those were from last year. They spent outside all winter. Um, I don't know what's going to go on with the strawberries. This one will stay where it is. I don't really know. They have flowers. And they might die. So if that's the case, they may rebloom. They're supposed to be ever um, producing, ever bearing. Um, sorry, the neighbor is mowing with power equipment. And then these guys here are my leeks. These grew from seed that grew on a plant last year. And I have moss roses that grew in one of the leek pots and don't ask how that happened, that just did. And I see some debris from the backyard. That's interesting that it got all the way up to the front yard. I'm going to have to move a few things. See that orange thing back there? That's from a grow tower that needs to go into the backyard. I had a squirrel raid the grow tower last night and we had been dumping compost for worms in it. Not a good idea. The squirrel discovered there might, just might be pistachios in there. Oh my god. So, uh, it was a mess this morning. Yeah, so let's go and see what else is in the grow trays. They're, they're all waiting to get planted. Um, I'm hoping after this cold snap tonight that we can get some of them into the ground. This is the first batch of tomatoes. And there's a basil in this one too. I have a lavender sweet potatoes. These are all summer warm plants. They need to wait until after frost before going outside. Um, right now we just got the cold weather plants outside. So this is what's inside. It's just there's no more room in the grow room. Okay, this is the most recent planting. This is dye stuffs. In the center, which aren't up yet, are indigo I believe these tiny guys here are Coreopsis, and then on this end I have Amaranth. And then these are under lights and on heating mats. Okay, you see it's really hard to see what's actually going on here. So let me pull another one out. This one is also flowers. 
I have, I would have to look at my sheet to see what I actually planted in here. Um, some of them germinated, some of them didn't. They were all new seed. I think these are coxcomb. And these guys look like pansies, but they aren't. I really honestly don't know um, what they are. I planted a lot of different things. Everything from zinnias to um, rubecchias. Um, shoot, there should even be uh, nasturtiums in here. And some of them said they needed light to germinate. We got something growing here. So we'll see what we get. I will, before these get transplanted, they'll get labeled. I'll go back to my original chart of what I planted and get them all labeled. So that's the second flower tray. There's one more. Okay, this is also flowers. We have a little bit better germination with this one. This is basil right here. Not sure what that is, but that's definitely a basil. Those little heart-shaped leaves, that's basil. So the basil germinated really nice. I don't know what these are. I'm trying a lot of new flowers this year, so I'll have to take a look at the chart. This one has been growing longer than the other one, but you can see some of the flowers had zero germination. This one had some germination, but I mean, 40% maybe. So, This is where they live. This is the slot where this guy lives. These are the beets. I use a soil blocking technique. So each, um, each row of this fits into a, um, a soil blocker and I uh, get it all wet and it's almost like playing with Play-Doh Play -Doh, and you just push it all in and then you hit the handle and it spits it out into nice little cubes. And then you put your seeds in on top. And then I like to cover them with vermiculite. And for the most part, it works pretty good for me. Um, I highly recommend if you're interested in that and checking out some of the things that Elliot Coleman has done. Uh, he developed the soil blocker, I believe, in conjunction with Johnny's Seeds. But he's written a number of books, had PBS shows. I'm sure you can find videos of him online. And he also does winter gardening and four-season gardening. I am also not sure what these guys are. These are flowers that said they needed five weeks in order to uh, mature enough to be transplanted. But... As to what they are, like I said, I'm going to have to go back to my charts. These guys are in the dark because I just planted them. These are melons. You see, I have, from a job I did once, I had all these plastic spoons. I had to have had over 300 plastic spoons. I don't recommend the use of plastic. I really don't like using it, but it's what I already have. So I label those. I've got watermelon and a golden crispy melon. And I think in the back might be cucumbers. But as soon as those beets go out, this will get under lights. These just got transplanted. These, a lot of these are cold weather plants. The um, cabbages definitely and chard. Uh, those will be ready to go outside. The amaranth I might hold back here. These guys are too little, and they're also a summer plant. They're not a, a cold weather. The other reason I want to get some of these guys out is I am starting to get 
fungus gnats. I don't know if you can see that crawling around back there, but there's a fly back there, a little tiny one. And that's one of the reasons I have the fan on usually during the day, but I turned it off so we could film. In this row, I have herbs, I have thyme and basil. And then I've got a lot more basil here that's waiting to be transplanted. These just got transplanted about an hour ago. I have Amish paste tomatoes, eggplant, Thai basil. Thai basil is really tiny yet, but I needed the entire tray in order to be able to put these pots in it. So they're under lights. They're probably going to stay here another week get used to being transplanted. Here I have alpine strawberries. I'm really looking forward to these. I need to get some more potting soil so that they can go into pots because I don't trust that the deer won't decimate them entirely. It's possible they could go out around the apple tree. That would be a nice little border. I've got a basil, two basils, and behind them are eggplants. And then over here are cucumbers that I just planted. And then I transplanted a couple of things. This is supposed to be a fern leaf lavender. I've got two of those. There's another alpine strawberry. But these guys, they don't really need light yet, but they might do for the warmth that light offers just to uh, germinate. So... That's what's going on in the grow room. Tomorrow we'll take the covers off of the rest of the garden and take a look at what we got, what survived, um, how to cover for cold spells and so forth. Take care.